Hey everyone, Rock here from Shadowful Workshop. Today I'm going to show you how to build this articulated camera mount for our workbench. Let's get started. Alright, to start out you're going to need a Lazy Susan. I got mine from Home Depot, you could probably find one at your local hardware store. Next you're going to need some carriage bolts. These are nice, the square end on them keeps them from moving when you put them into the stock. And another hex bolt to mount the... mount. Yeah. Next, you're going to need some brackets to mount everything to the boards and some washers to fit the bolts that we purchased. Mine are 5 16 Then some wood screws. After that, we have 1 inch aluminum square tubing as well as 1 inch aluminum flat bar. These can be purchased for 4 feet at a time from your local hardware store. And then we're going to need some wood. I'm going to use this to mount it to the ceiling so that our camera mount is out of the way. And I used a small square of PVC, half inch in thickness. We'll use this to mount everything too. To get started, we're going to cut all of our pieces to length. This is the square tubing. Uh, I chose 18 inches. You can choose whatever length you want to use. So I measure to 18 inches, make a mark, and then use my speed square to draw a straight line across. This will help me when I use the bandsaw to cut all the pieces. I actually went out and bought a new bandsaw blade specifically for metal and it cuts through this aluminum like butter. Next we need to cut our flat bar pieces to the same lengths as our square bar. This is to give rigidity to the aluminum square tubing as well as friction to the other joints. Again we make a mark at 18 inches and use our square to make a line across for cutting on the bandsaw. Now we need to mark placement on all of our pieces. I chose half inch in and half inch up Seeing as it's one inch bar and one inch square tubing, it seemed right. Now we have to make a pilot hole so that our bigger drill bit can follow that and not get sidetracked. I used a 3 16 bit to go through and make the pilot hole, and then I switch over to the 5 16 which is the diameter of our bolts, and make that hole. And I do this for all the parts that require a hole. Now we need a square hole in some of the flat bar so that when you pivot the arm, the screw doesn't move and loosen. So I used a file to make these square holes to fit our square carriage bolts. Now with everything cut, drilled, and squared away, we can start assembling. Here we see the assembly of the first arm. This one's going to need two flat bar pieces, the piece of aluminum square tubing that has two holes, as well as the brackets to mount everything to, and the washers to give some friction. We need to push these screws through our first hole of our second arm, the first bracket, the washer, and through the square tubing. Then we put on the second bar of the second arm, and then finish it off with our second bracket, another washer, and the end piece. And we screw on our nuts, and we're ready to move on to the second arm. Second arm is pretty easy. It's basically done. All we have to do is add the third arm into the middle of these, and then screw it on. And as you can see, with this design, it compacts up into the ceiling and out of the way. This is nice for when we need our workbench without a camera at all. Next, we're going to need to take the head off an old tripod. I bought this one from Best Buy for about $30. Uh, the one you choose can be up to you. Mine didn't have a screw in the bottom, so we're going to have to put a bolt through it to put it on. All we have to do is find a location to put our bolt and drill a hole. Again, I use a pilot bit and then the bigger bit to make sure that the bolt fits in the hole. Then we take our normal bolt, as well as a washer, fit it into the camera mount and through our aluminum tubing with a little bit of struggle. Put the nut on the back, tighten it up, and we're ready to go. Next, we're going to need to drill some holes into our PVC so that we can mount the Lazy Susan onto it. So I place the Lazy Susan onto the PVC so that I can make some shallow holes to mark the placement of the Lazy Susan. Then I use the 5 16 bit, the one that fits our bolts, and put bigger holes in the Lazy Susan so that our bolts will go through it. And I finish our PVC piece by drilling the bigger holes that our bolts will fit through. Now I need to do the same thing with the wood piece. This is where I want to mount the Lazy Susan, so I need to make the marks and drill the holes so that our bolts will fit through. After that, we need to mount it to the board. Put the bolts through the Lazy Susan and the board, turn it over, and put the nuts on the backside. 
Now we use the brackets on the finished arm contraption to find where the hole should go on the PVC piece. Mark those out and drill them to fit the smaller bolts that we have. Then we mount the arm to the PVC and slip the whole thing onto the Lazy Susan. Once we get the bolts through, we can screw it down with some nuts and we're good to go. I chose a wide enough board that it would span the rafters that I have in my garage. You might want to choose something different, but this worked out for me. This allows the camera to stay up there. The boards are pretty heavy, so I'm not scared of it falling down, and it's not going to be moving too much to move the board anyway. Having the camera mounted to the ceiling with this movable arm gives us the flexibility we need to get all the way around our subject without having a bulky tripod in the way, and that's really nice to have. Well, that's it for this project. If you like what you see, let us know. Leave a comment down below, and if you want to see new costume and prop making, subscribe for more. Thanks.